Hello Mad Champions, today we are going to learn how to tell the time to 5 minutes. But before that, let's read the time. And remember, there are two hands on the clock. The hour hand and the minute hand. The hour hand is the shorter hand and the minute hand is the longer hand. So, what time is it? The time now is 10 o'clock. Why is it 10 o'clock? Because the hour hand is pointing towards 10 and the minute hand is pointing straight up at 12. Now let's follow the minute hand as he travels one round around the clock and see what happens to the time. Let's start at the beginning and move minute hand to his first stop over here. What time is it now? The time has just become 10.05. Why is it 10.05? Look very closely at where the minute hand is pointing. It's pointing at this number, which is 5, which means 5 minutes has just passed. Let's move to the second stop. And what time is it now? It is 10.10 10 because look at the number again. 10 minutes has just passed. Now let's move the minute hand to the third stop now. And what time is it? 10.15. Let's move to the fourth stop. 10 20, 10 25, 10 30, 10 35, 10 40, 10 45, 10 50, 10 55, and finally, hmm, what is this? Is it 10.60? Is the time 10.60? No, it is actually 60 minutes past 10, which is also known as 11 o'clock. So now we have learned that when the minute hand travels one round around the clock and stops right back here, 60 minutes has just passed. And 60 minutes is also known as one hour. When the minute hand travels one round around the clock, 60 minutes has passed. One hour. Now let me teach you two steps to tell the time. First step, you look at the hour hand. And second step, you look at where the minute hand is. Look at this first example. What time is it? First step, look at the hour hand over here. And it's pointing at 11. So let's write down 11. Second step is a little more tricky. You have to skip count in fives. So let's do that. 5, 10, stop. Okay, we'll stop at where the minute hand is. And you read off the number 10. Okay, can you see that? 10 over there. Okay, so the time is 11.10. Be careful not to make this mistake of writing 11.2, right? Some of you might do that. It's because you did not skip count in fives. 11.2 is wrong. It's 11.10. Let's move on to the next example. Second example, follow my steps again. What time is it? Look at the hour hand over here. It's still pointing at 11. Okay, and so we write it down. Second step, minute hand, skip count in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, stop. So the time is 11, 20. Okay, careful, once again, the time is not 11, 4. Okay, wrong, this is the correct answer. Next example. Third example, what is the time? Once again, follow my steps. Where is the hour hand? It's over here. Hmm, this time it is not pointing at 11 and it's not pointing at 12. It's pointing in the middle. So what happens when the hour hand is somewhere in the middle of 11 and 12? It is still 11 o'clock. Okay, it is still 11 o'clock. It is past 11, yes, but it has not reached 12 o'clock yet. That's why we will write 11 o'clock. Okay, so remember that. Second step, look at the minute hand, and it's over here. Let's skip count in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So let's write down 30. Okay, once again, I really want to remind you, do not write down 11, 6. That is wrong. Okay, remember to skip count in fives. Okay? Next example. Next example, let's follow the steps again. What time is it? Follow the hour hand and look at the hour hand again. It is not pointing at 11 
and is not pointing at 12. Where is it pointing at? It's in between. It's not pointing at 12 yet. So be careful. Do not write down 12. That will be the wrong answer. Okay, it is still 11 o'clock. It's almost 12, but it's not yet 12. Okay, so we will write down 11 o'clock. Okay, now second step, we will look at the minute hand. Skip count in fives, remember? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Stop. Let's write down 11, 50. Okay, and that is the time. Okay, final example. What is the time? Once again, follow the steps. Where is the hour hand? Over here. Is it pointing at 2? No. Is it pointing at 3? No. It is in between 2 and 3. So what did I tell you when the hour hand is in between 2 and 3? What time is it? It is 2 o'clock. Okay? It is not 3. It's past 2 o'clock, but it's not yet at 3 o'clock. Okay? That's why we write 2 o'clock. Second step, look at the minute hand. Let's skip count in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So let's write down 40. And the time is 2.40. Now let's move on to some games and you can tell the time on your own. Remember that when the minute hand travels one round around the clock, that means 60 minutes has passed. And what is 60 minutes is also known as one hour. And remember the steps that I've taught you for telling the time. The first step, you look at the hour hand, which is the shorter hand. And then we look at the minute hand, which is the longer hand. And remember to skip count in fives. Okay, I will see you in the next video.